Alright, here we are in the Google Play Store. As you can see, it rotates with my phone, unlike the launcher did. Alright, now we're going to install something called Go Launcher. It's a completely free application that's way better than a default launcher on any phones. So, let's see, let's go back here. If you press back, you'll see a list of like, things that you've searched for before, if you've been used here. And there'll be a little microphone here. Let's try this out. Go Launcher. There you go. Go Launcher EX is the first thing listed. Let's go down here. Mine says update because there's an update available for it, but yours will say install in the same uh, area. Some reviews. Click right here to install. Again, mine says update since I already have it installed. Alright, now it's. Okay, now it is done downloading. We can all you have to do is press the home button uh, key on your phone, and you'll be greeted with a new menu. This menu will let you change what launcher you use. You set as default, then that means that this will become your more or less permanent launcher. You can always turn it off later, but it will launch this launcher every time you turn on your phone and every time you press the home key. All right, we're gonna launch up Go Launcher EX. Tap it, give it a little time to start. Alright, here is Go Launcher. It's showing you a bunch of stuff about it. There's a bunch of pages you can scroll through, but or not. Press home again. And it'll be taken to the new Go Launcher screen. Alright. So here are the default screens. You can see it already has some widgets on it. Alright, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to add widgets and stuff up here. You remember if you saw my other video about, my first video about navigating your phone, how to put things on the home screen, you can see that it was going to take a long time to do it. It says you can glide up to open the actions menu. We're going to press the menu button because that's what we've already done. Alright, you can click add. Alright, now down here we have a different menu. Click Add, and it brings up a list of your applications. Alright, so if I wanted to add some applications to my screen, all I have to do is tap on them, Amazon, Calculator, oops, Calculator, Angry Birds, Angry Birds, Angry Birds, and when I press OK, it adds them all to my screen, so that's a whole lot easier. Widgets are a little bit easier too. You just tap that. You can go to widgets. You can also install special widgets from the Go store. They have their own set of widgets you can add to. Wallpapers. This just lets you change what your wallpaper mode. I'm just going to leave it like that. There's your wallpapers and just other settings. Alright, so now I'm going to show you a little bit of how to use Go Launcher more effectively. Focus. Alright, so press menu. You can go to preferences. And you can change the way it looks with visual settings. This will let you change the background, your fonts, and stuff. Alright, if you go to effect settings, you can actually change how it changes your home screen. There's a whole bunch of different transitions. These are things that hardly any other launcher has. Like your default launcher probably doesn't have this. We're choosing random so you guess you can see a few other transitions. You may be wondering what it is it mean by transitions, well you'll see. Look. When you slide forwards and back, it gives you all of these really fancy, nice, smooth transitions from screen to screen. So even if you move it slow you can just see how fluid that is. And this is just telling you about more effects. This is what you'll see if you didn't change the effects. 
it'll say here are the different effects they have flip, cylinder, bounce, random, all that stuff. Alright, and now the new applications menu, you remember what it looked like before, it's going to keep showing you these things about different things you can do. Just keep pressing back if you want to skip them. Alright, the default transition is left to right. However, if you want a more fluid transition, because I don't really like the pages, here's what you do. Press the menu key, go to preferences, go to app drawer settings, and then go to app drawer scrolling, and turn it to vertical continuous. This will make it so you don't have pages to go through. You can scroll through all your apps a lot easier. This will build a nice wall for you to scroll through all your apps. In my opinion, this is, makes it, everything a whole lot easier with your phone. Also, let's say you want to add an application to your screen, but you forgot and you just saw it now. You said, oh, I want to add, like, uh, let's see, Temple Run to my one of my home screens. Long press it, it will start wiggling. You can move it down, and he'll be able to list your home screens that you can put it on. Here's the main one, there's another one to the left. Let's just put it over on this empty screen. And there it is. You can see it on your screen. You have your other screens. You can organize them. Like, say you want to put this on your other screen. Long press. Push it over to the side. Slide to whatever screen you want. It's really, really easy. I, I love this launcher more than the default launcher on any Android device I've ever used. You want to get rid of something, drag it to the trash can. Boom, it's gone. Alright, that's about it. One other cool thing. Take, a, take your phone. Turn it sideways, and look, it instantly transitions to, uh, to, a, the, or, to orient it with your phone. So yeah, that's Go Launcher and how to install widgets on your phone. Uh, I hope you like these customizations. Try them out, and I'll see you later. Bye.